Okay, welcome back. Um, we've got quite a long session today. Um, first of all, while I was out getting health and that in between videos, I got a call. There was a survivor in Wonderland Plaza that, to be honest, I completely forgot about called Leroy. Uh, we're going to go grab him, and if memory serves me correctly, there should be another old lady with him. So we're going to go grab those. Um, then when we come back, there's going to be quite a big bit more plot um, to do. And then we'll go from there. Um, also, we have another psychopath battle um, in the works. So, like I said, I'm going to play for quite a while today. And um, I won't be surprised if this ends up being five or six parts. But yeah, first things first, we're going to go through the toilet shortcut. Um, and we're going to get, like I say, Leroy and... I forget the old lady's name, actually. Ah, oh, well, we'll find out when we get there. So yeah, we'll grab them, we'll come back. Um, a bit of the plot will kick in, but I'm not going to do the mission as soon as it's available. Instead, um, there's something I need to do to do a psychopath battle, uh, which I can't do if I do the mission straight away. You'll, you'll see what I mean when I get there. If you've played through this a few times, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about already. Um, so yeah, here we go. Susan, that was the old lady's name, Susan. You can just see her over there on top of that giant football. What we're going to do, we're going to take... I've got a queen already, so we're just going to go over there and drop that. Okay, and... Damn it. Get off. Thank you. And we're just gonna... Frank, drop the... Thank you. Bit of a delayed reaction from the button there. Just have a chat with her. <laughs> Frank taking offense at being called a boy. So this is another one where you usually have to hold their hand. Um... She's a bit useless, actually. Let's just cut a path to Leroy, who should be in the shop here. Yep, there he is. Start talking to him. Fuck's sake, Susan. God damn it. There we go, that's better. I kind of accidentally drop kicked the old woman as well, but let's make sure she gets over there, okay? There you go, dearie. Right. Basically, this guy's injured, um, but it doesn't play into anything. You don't have to carry him or anything silly like that. Did the old lady just kick a zombie in the nuts? That's awesome. Okay, so he's joined. Ooh, McKenna must be Scottish. Well, have some Scottish ancestry, I suppose. I have a muck in the name. Let's hold her hand again. Start pulling her away. Leroy is following. I'm sorry, but couldn't not do that joke. Um, yeah, no, so we'll get these guys back. So we're in the last day of the game now. Not the last day I'll be playing it, but the last day of in-game time. Get Susan to wait over there and just cut a path for Leroy to come through. So, yeah... I'm guessing that, you know, pretty soon we'll be finishing up the entire Let's Play. Uh, we might even have it done for Christmas. Which, that'd be quite nice, actually, if it was all wrapped up for Christmas. I didn't mean that as a pun. I only just realised how that sounded. So yeah, we'll use the toilet shortcut again. Although, really, I'm surprised the survivors aren't suspicious that a a man is leading them into a toilet and then telling them, No, seriously, there's a secret passage behind the mirror. Capcom, what do you want? <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, those guys are now with me in the plaza. God, I hate the whole hand mechanism because it keeps breaking off. Oh, come on. 
Come out, of, come out of there. I've got to get to the next plot point quickly. It's in the red. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, no, not that way. Grab. Nope. Come along. Come along. There we go. So yeah, we've got got them two following us. Get them back to the security room. Uh, like I said, we'll do the next plot point when we get there. And, um, yeah, should be fine. When we get there, that is. Okay, tell her to wait at the door and go get Leroy. I don't know, he's coming pretty quickly. What? There we go, he's coming. Hopefully it was close enough to the door. Yeah, fantastic. Cut our way through those. Get them to wait around here so that um, the zombies don't get to them, otherwise I'll just run into the elevator and get killed. Because, you know, AI sucks. Me. Go. There's Leroy! Jenkins! And there's Susan. I know, I know, I said it was a bad joke the first time, but... Sod it. <sighs> you tell me that seriously cut out just because I went round a corner. Come on, you divvy old woman. Get in the ele Stop running into the wall, Leroy. Come on, Susan. This way, dearie. Yes, you're going to the home. There's some health back. And there's the queen. Grab the... No, grab the queen. Grab it. Thank you. So what we'll do is, once I get into the security room, I'll save... Um, and then I'm going to cut ahead because there's still a bit of in-game time before the next plot point happens. So we'll cut ahead. Um, and then we'll just keep going. Because, like I said, I want to make this quite a long session today and just really start charging through and we'll get ever closer to that ending. Yeah, so like I said, I'm going to save here, and then I'll cut ahead. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, we're back. As you can see, uh, Carlito started to plead with Isabella. Um, so he seems to be getting a fair bit desperate. Um, I'm still going to have to cut ahead a bit, but I thought I'd include this anyway, seeing as it is technically part of the plot. Still got a little bit of time. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head in here. Uh, everyone's still here. Brad, um, Isabella, everyone. I'm gonna cut ahead again um, to save you having to watch me waiting in here. So, yeah, I'll cut ahead to when the actual cutscene starts. Okay, things should be just about to start. Five, four, three, two. Oh, come on, I thought it started. Here we go. I don't know if you're listening to this or not. I've made up my mind. This is the last resort. I'm going to end it all. I'm sorry that I got you involved in all of this. I love you. I understand. Exactly what is this last resort talk all about? Carlito said that he'd blow up the mall if he were cornered. Dun dun dun! Oh. Damn! We've got a regular suicide bomber on our hands. He's wearing a turban and everything. Than what you were thinking. <laughs> Sorry. 
The explosion would send parasitic larvae into the atmosphere. He plans to spread zombies outside of the city? Well, yeah. Is he insane? Yeah. If that bomb goes <laughs> off, there'll be nowhere to run. The zombies will be everywhere! Again, that's the general idea. He's planning to flood the area underneath the mall with flammable gas, then set it off. Not a bad plan. If you could take care of the bombs while the gas concentration is still low. There's a chance we could stop the explosion. Let's do it! Let's do yeah. it! Yeah! He said it.